Welcome back, everyone. Day number two. I see a deer over there, and he's like jumping up and down, like he he just wants me to get him. There's zombies in there too, though. That's a great little place to loot, though, for duct tape and all of that. Do I have any points left? I think I spent them all. Okay, I did spend them all. We're going to put this in there. We only need one of those. We'll stick this on our belt. And we're going to go dig up this buried supply. It's right over here. It's not very far away. I can't go through here. I don't think I've seen one of these places before. We'll have to go in there and check it out. We'll pick up any arrows or feathers, I mean, that we find along the way. Okay, we have arrived. Let's start digging. Okay, folks, we have located the buried supply. I want to make sure I can get out of here because as soon as I grab this, we're going to have zombies coming from all directions. We really, really needed this. We're starving. Uh, that took a long time. I thought I was going to end up another side, just pop out another side of the world there for a moment. Let's go ahead and kill these zombies off and gain this experience. We're going to need it for some more points soon. Okay, I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of the canned food. We're going through it quickly. I need to find some animals and start killing them for the meat. We're also going to need to fill up our jars with water. Start uh, finding some, picking up some chrysanthemum, maybe some goldenrod. I'm going to take this zombie out too for a few more experience points. Got the best All right, the folks, way. this is a hard choice. I really need the first aid, but I think if I invest in points in that, we'll use these pipe bombs for a horde night soon. So I'm going to take the 20 pipe bombs. 20 pipe bombs seems more, it seems like a better reward to me. Okay, there's a fetch that's 936 of the buried supply. I think I'm going to go for the buried supply. It's closer and there's a higher possibility of it having food in it. And right now food is uh, is a priority. Well, folks, I made another storage chest, and what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to sort out my food supplies into one so I can keep track of what I have, and I'll keep the other things, you know, the weapons and crafting items and so forth in the other. We'll actually, con you know, consider that food, the seed. Uh, first aid will stick over there, too. Makes sense. We'll consider that to be first aid also. So we actually have a lot of food and first aid items here, more than what I thought we had. And I'm going to need to take some of this with me. I should probably eat the vitamin and eat these two sham sandwiches. It will reduce my health by 10 hit points if I eat both of those. But uh, I may have to do that. I'm going to take the bow with me to kill an animal. I'm also going to peep over the fence here and see if the deer is still located across the fence. And uh, shame on me for not killing that guy sooner. I think it might be gone now. Looks like he's gone. Because I haven't seen any animals, really. I've seen a couple uh, rabbits, but uh, I really should have taken that guy out when I had the opportunity. There's a two-time scope. All right. Let's stick this stuff back in here and head back towards the buried supply again. I have some food. I have water. And I have coffee. And we're going to probably use that coffee to dig this thing up over here. We're going to kill any zombies we see along the way also just to get that experience. This bleed is super powerful. Look at that. Look at how powerful that is. Okay, the only thing concerns me about this one is there's a nitrate node really close by. It makes me feel like 
And we might run into some stone or gravel or something. I guess the shovel will dig through gravel, no problem. But these seem to be a lot more difficult to dig up now. You can no longer simply place your little man over the chest and dig directly to it. Seems like there's a little more to it now. You have to kind of follow the uh, direction, the guidance of this circle. And I'm going to eat one more can of food. And I might drink this coffee to try to boost me along here while I dig this up. Okay, well that one was pretty simple to find. It's right here. I'm going to get my knife out. We're going to grab this thing. I'm going to read Grandpa's awesome sauce. Ooh, a mega crush. Nice. A cornmeal so we can make a plaster cast. Let's take these zombies out. Gain those experience points that we're going to need later on. Hopefully I don't back into a zombie. She's dead. Oh, we traded blows there. Come on. Come on, lady. Go down. Oh, he's hitting her from behind. I'm getting her in the front. She got sandwiched. You got sandwiched, lady. Now he's going to bleed. I'm going to stab him in the eye. So mean and angry. You know, I could just walk away from that guy. I could just stick him and walk away and he's probably going to die. More feathers. We're going to need those when we start hunting for uh, deer. Of course, if we can run up on a deer or creep up on a deer, we can stab that deer and he'll fall over from bleed damage. Eventually, they don't have a lot of hit points. So... And keep that in mind, too. Another thing that would be cool is if you could throw this thing and stick it in something, you know? Well, the name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. All right, folks, we have returned. I'd love to have the vitamins so I could eat about, you know, anything. But the helmet light mod is beautiful. We'll be able to see. Uh, that must be something that they've pretty much thrown in as an early game quest reward. Seems like I found that a couple times early, early game now. And I've only really done one playthrough. There's a mining helmet right there. It comes with one. Uh, it's a little worth more than what we have uh, for money. Don't really have anything to sell her. There's a cement mixer and a mini bike chassis and handlebars. Only thing you need to be the wheels, the engine, and the battery. And you can just ride around. Ride to victory. We won't worry about that now. Hopefully she'll continue to have those things. I'd rather have an iron fire axe or a pickaxe than I would uh, a mini bike at this point in the game. We'll get all that though. I'm just kind of checking through to make sure there's nothing that she had that I missed that I'd like to buy. That compound bow actually could be very beneficial for us you know it's only a one quality but it doesn't cost that much i think i should buy that i don't know why i typically wouldn't buy a bow but i am gonna buy it and that'll replace this little primitive bow thanks for letting me take care of you we can make some more arrows now i have some more feathers and this thing restocks on day three so it'll restock tomorrow Let's throw some things in the chest here. Vulture! Where did that vulture come from? I was just storing some things away in the chest and I heard a swoopy noise. We really need to invest a point in Huntsman. Let's do that. Healing factor. Let's put a point in that too. Okay, well, we got some more feathers. Actually, I'll stick that over here. Into the food and first aid. I'm going to eat that. And I'm going to eat this. I'm going to put that away. We're going to put our compound bow. Guess we'll stick it right here. No, we'll stick it right here. We'll put our shovel away. Uh, I think this is a fetch quest, so we won't have to do... Uh, we won't have to dig anything up. The Mega Crush, I better keep that in my inventory. I don't think I have a helmet. No, I don't have any type of a headgear. And I don't have a way to make any type of... Uh, let's see. Helmet. 
Nah, I don't have a way to make any type of... How about cloth? What does it take? I'm sure that takes duct tape, right? Padded hood? Yeah, it takes the duct tape. Uh, I don't have a glue yet. I do have some cloth. We'll just put it in there for now. And eventually, we'll be able to... Uh, we'll be able to make one of those. Yeah, at least we have it, right? At least we have it. And it's probably time to make a new bone shiv. Because ours is going to break on us. So let's do that. Bone knife. Two quality, it's fine. We'll just go with it. And more arrows. Now that we have a better bow, I should probably make more arrows. Okay, that's all the wood that we have. So I'm going to have to go out and see if I can find myself a little bit of wood to uh, chop on. And I tell you what, I think instead of going over to the quest now, I could just build my way over here, couldn't I? Instead of going over there now, we're going to do this. We're going to loot this place and try to find ourselves some duct tape. It's right here next to us. And then we'll go do the quest. Oh, a pain pill. We'll do the quest uh, nighttime. That's fine. I, I don't mind doing them at nighttime. Originally, I said I probably would not do that since it is a permadeath series. But uh, no guts, no glory, right? So we'll probably do all of the uh, quest date or night. We won't let the time of day... Uh, control when we do what we do but i think i'd love oh another pain pill man that's that's two that's excellent i think i'd like to loot this place see if we can get a duct tape and a padded helmet and this will be for your sake because uh, i want you to be able to see what's going on and i don't want to have to turn the brightness up too much oh this thing doesn't have any drop very little drop Oh, is he dead already? He's dead already. I only hit him twice, right? <laughs> nice. All right. Get my arrows back from him. Thank you, sir. A coin. Nothing. Some trash. More brass. Boy, we get to the point where we can make some bullets. We'll have a lot of... Uh, a lot of brass to do it with. What's nice about this place, too, is a lot of junk lying around on the ground. A lot of things we could loot. And maybe some things I wouldn't typically take along with me. I will because our storage chest is right next door. Look at that. Another pain pill. That's three. That's three so far. I know it sounds like I'm probably getting a little more excited about those than I should. This will sell for 168 That's some food, right? We'll hold on to it. That's some food. There's a zombie inside. I think we can get forged iron or maybe even steel out of that axle right there. So I'll leave it in place. Probably going to need to make some more wooden frames at some point also. I need to go ahead and get my blunderbuss ready because it's about to be nighttime. And I don't want to get overwhelmed out here. Yeah, we found it, folks. We found two duct tape. So I can make a padded hood. And we can get a light going on for uh, nighttime so uh, everyone can see well. And look at all this brass I'm finding. There's a zombie right there. And I found the glue also. Can he reach me up here? I don't think he can, can he? We'll just stab him until he goes down. Oh, or just pop his head like that. I'm going to scrap this chair. Do a sort. Probably go ahead and eat this cat food eat this large beef ration. Alright, we don't need the lead. I don't think there's ever going to be a use for lead. I'm going to scrap that uh, shovel. And I'm going to try to get in here and clear this place real fast. Uh, I don't feel so bad about looting all of this with no points uh, or a low game stage. I don't feel too bad about that. As a matter of fact, our game stage right now, where are we at? We are at game stage nine. Game stage nine at day two. That's uh, that's pretty high. You know, that's pretty high. I think it's it's uh, that extra experience that we're getting is is just blasting that up. And we're probably going oh three duct tape and a glue. We're probably going to severely suffer from that at some point. I know we are. It's going to get crazy and out of hand. And. Uh, you know, but uh, hopefully if we can get more blunderbuss ammo kicking uh, and I can spec into it. Hey, fella. 
Bone Shiv's about to break here. Let's get another power shot or two in before it does break. Wait, where did that zombie fall? All right, this item is no good. Oh, you can repair a bone shiv now. I didn't realize that. Well, that's cheaper than making a new bone shiv. Ooh, pop that hit. All right, big mommy, you got to hold on, gal. I got some trash over here. We're going to take those little sandwiches. I can eat a vitamin and uh, eat those sham sandwiches. All right. Get this last bit of loot over here. Another feather. A uh, bag of trash. And let's go take out Mama. Nothing but power shots, Mama. Oh, she fell off the windowsill. Oh, don't do that, Mama. Oh, it hurt her. Oh, the chair. The great chair defense. Oh, she's dead. Mama's down. Hey, hey Mama. All right, we're gonna we're gonna probably yeah I guess we'll help him with this oh I almost got hung up did you see that I got stuck on something I, I got stuck on the same thing mama got stuck on <laughs> stuck on you I'm gonna use all my stamina up. Boy, Edgar is tough. The bleed's like it doesn't even affect him. Stabbing him in the eye. Why are they beating on the wall there? You might not want to hit that barrel, buddy. Take us all out. All right, let me build my stamina back up here for a moment. Mm-hmm. dead nice now I think there's a gun safe in here somewhere yeah there's a gun safe right there traders about to close that's all right I got a wrench so in case we need a few little extra things oh a vending machine that works large beef ration miso tuna uh, covert cat sneak damage 50% I'm actually gonna buy that I know it seems unwise because I'm so short of money but in case we uh, do this quest, and I think we are going to do it, it's going to be nighttime. We'll have a little extra oomph to go in there and uh, and complete that quest. So I think there might be zombies. Oh, that zombie saw me inside here, other than the ones we've killed already. I don't know. Twenty-one fifty. All right, we got to sneak up on her. We have eight minutes, seven minutes. 5.5 5 damage there. Do you see that? All right, she's dead. We're going to have to take this guy out with a blunderbuss. I missed him. That's not good. Oh, I knocked him down. I didn't even realize I knocked him down. Oh, he's dead. Okay. So there's another one outside. There are two. Maybe we can lead them to our little hole over here. Come to my little hole. Over here, sir. Over here. Oh, or you're just gonna make your own little hole. Oh, that's a big boy right there. We might have to blunderbuss him. Oh, if he breaks through, we're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble. We're in a little bit of trouble. Reload it. Reload it. Right, she's dead man that was close workbench schematic no I'll take it though I'll take that too and I'm gonna scrap that three cheers okay well I'm feeling pretty good about this other than that there's a big guy and a little one coming after me let's see if we can trick him up on the stairs and jump off We're trapped up here. Oh, I got light. Well, I don't know where all they're all coming from. Oh, he, oh, they're coming in from the back now. 
There's multiple. Multiple bogeys. Multiple bogeys. I gotta get over here. Stamina. Don't fail me now. Pick that up. Thank you, Blunderbuss. That Blunderbuss just saved our life. All right, we got bleed on both of them. So even if they get up here, we can probably kite them around a little bit. I thought we were all good. And then, and oh my. Oh, he died as he fell up here. We just got so lucky. She should be going down soon. Okay, folks. Uh, incredible. Right, we survived that. I don't know how we survived that. I thought that was all she wrote right there, but no, we made it. Another pain pill. We could absolutely use that. And there's some lock picks for our safe in here. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll wrap this thing up by trying to pick the safe. And I'll loot this car that I was trying to loot about a dozen times over. I was never allowed to do it. Look at that polymers. Nothing. Ugh. Trash can, maybe some duct tape. Polymers. Oh, that's a lot of brass. And a lot of gas. Gas and brass. Gas brasser. Pick this safe right here. I hear a zombie walking around outside. Uh, hopefully we can do this. If we can't, I have a couple more picks in the chest out there, but... Maybe since it's next to our base, we save it. You know, if this one breaks and this is my last lock pick, we'll just save this safe. We'll come back at a later date and we'll either break it open or we'll pick it. Uh, but it looks like this is going to work this time. Oh, it heard me talking and it's like, nope, you're not saving this for your lucky looter. Oh, a pistol. Uh, scrap, take, reload. All right, folks, we're going to wrap it up right here. When we come back, we're going to run back over to our storage chest. We're going to drop all of this stuff off. We're going to make ourselves a padded hood, get our light. So now we'll have light at night. I can turn this brightness down just a little bit, uh, make the colors pop some more. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and, and, and knock this quest out. Hopefully get a, a good reward, some experience. There's uh, There's that. There's a zombie trying to get in right there. Well, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out and watching. Make sure you stop by a live stream sometime. The schedule will be down below in the description. Take care, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow.